Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to do cross-validation in support vector machine. Support vector machine performs a classification based on the concepts of decision planes with defined decision boundaries. Decision plane is one that separates between a set of objects having a different class membership. The objective of hyperplane is to maximize the margin between the two classes. The vectors that are used for classification are known as hyperplane. A support vector machine is a supervised machine learning algorithm that can be employed for both classification and regression purposes. Support vector machine is highly preferred by many as it produces a significant accuracy with less computation power. Support vector machine can be used for both regression and classification tasks. It is widely used in classification objectives. You can see here there are two groups of data. One shown in circle and another sore in process. We want such, uh, such a function that classifies this into two groups. Now, these two points which are nearer to it, each other becomes the support vectors. And there is a hyperplane which is passing through them and we want to maximize the distance between them which is known as margin. Now we will be using the cross validation in support vector machine. Basically, we want the cross validation to be done in rapid mind. What are the advantages of cross validation? The first one is that you don't have to train a new model. You basically use the same optimization validation cycle to generate your model. And if the training data changes, then you will improve the algorithm by just running it once. The second one is that you can train your model and upload on the server you can also control where to store the model. Now, what we are doing in cross validation, let us try to understand. There is a data set which will be split into training and testing data. Training data will enter into the cross validations where the parameters of different uh, algorithms will be passed and the base parameter is picked up. And again, the model will be retrained. The final model which is selected on that the test data will be passed and the performance will be judged on that basis. Now, actually what we are doing in cross validation, let us try to understand. This is the whole data, which will be divided into 70, 30. Now we specify how many poles are there. And on that basis, the splitting will be done. So in first split, all the green ones are the training data, which we can see from here. And the blue ones are testing data. In second split, now, the remaining, this one will become, the green ones will become the training and this blue one will become testing. On that basis, you will find the parameters and these parameters will be considered for the model and the model will be evaluated on the basis of test data. Now, how we will do this in rapid minor? Let's see. For this, we will go in the process area where I will import the data from here. I'll connect this with the spline. I'll press the play button. You can see here the attributes which are considered here for the model are age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, old pig, ST slope, and the person, the patient is having a heart disease or not having a heart disease. We will go in design. This time I will activate select attribute operator. It is not necessary that in this data set, all the attributes are a matter of my interest and therefore I only want to work on particular attributes. So I'll go in subsetting and I'll select the attributes. So age will be considered cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pig, resting blood pressure, So six variables will be considered. Apply. Next thing we will have to do is set the row. Basically, support vector machines come under the supervised learning machine techniques and therefore we'll have to specify our target value. So heart disease, make sure target rule is labeled. Now I will activate the cross validation from here. I'll drag it and drop it here. 
disconnect this line. Connect model with the result window. Test with the result window. Or rather, performance with the result window. And test with the result window. Now this cross validation operator consists of two layers. It means that there is a sub process which is which is running inside. I'll double click it, click it, and the screen will get divided into training and testing data set. Now from here, activate SV, the basic support vector machine. Load it in the training unit. Pass the spline training to training, model to model, and Estimated performance to two. Now you go in, apply the model. Keep it in the testing data set. Connect model to model, testing to unlabel, and performance. In classification. Connect label to label, performance to performance, an example to test. Now, okay. just press this up arrow and come in the main process area. Just press the play button and results are ready. We'll start the interpretation from the weight table. And you can see here, the higher the weight, more the contribution of is of that attribute in support vector. Weight visualizations can be also seen from this pie chart, which will be generated automatically. We'll go in support vector table to find out which observation is supporting. When you'll expand this, you can see that this particular counter number four is supporting, is a support vector. It is, these points are nearer to each other. It means that this Based on this observation, a support vector will be formed and based on which the hyperplane will be formed. When you will go in support vector visualization, you will be able to see how nicely the classification has been done by the algorithm. Yes is for the heart disease is present. No is heart disease not present. Now you will go in example set cross validation where you will come to know how is the prediction being done. This is a confidence for no, this is a confidence for yes. Now here, in the first case, the person was having a heart disease and the prediction said that he, the algorithm said the heart, the heart disease is not present. This is a misclassification which is being done. Now you can rearrange this by double click and you, will, you can find out all the correctly classified cases. Then you will go into performance vector where you will see this that 349 cases are correctly classified and 266 cases are correctly classified. Kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of the lecture where I have already uploaded the theoretical aspect of the support, support vector machine. So the best classification has been done of 242 plus 61 cases. The accuracy which I have got is 66.99 percentage. For more videos on Rapid Miner, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly see my playlist, in which I have already, uplo already uploaded many videos of Rapid Miner. Please don't forget to press the like button.